sure. It's about 7.30 a.m. here in Paris. And today starts my first day of attempting to try all of the best croissants in Paris. So fingers crossed we're getting to this place early enough because I walked by yesterday and there was a massive line. Apparently they sell out of the croissants uh, within like the first 20 minutes. So we'll see. I'm also just really hoping they have hot coffee because it's really cold this morning. Oh. Also, probably help if I told you where we're going. Uh, we're going to Cedric Boulay, uh, their opera location, which just be is the opera house. It's just right back there. So fingers crossed for really enough. up a little bit uh, compared to this morning. Once I got back from the bakery, I was so cold and honestly just jet lagged that I got under the covers for a little bit and fell asleep. Uh, so I've just showered and got cleaned up. I've got a photo shoot in a couple of hours. Um, but first, we need to try these pastries. So let me show you what I got at Cedric Goulet. Uh, let's see here. This is their famous croissant. It does sell out really quickly, um, according to what I've read online. So if you want to go get the croissant, get there early. I got there at 8.15. I thought they opened at 9. Turns out they don't open until 9.30, which is frankly why I was so bitter and cold by the time I got in the door. But um, it was actually really lovely. The staff only let a couple people in at a time. They will talk to you in either English or French and explain what every single bakery item is. It couldn't have been kinder. It really turned my morning around because I was not in the best mood. I was kind of frozen solid by the time I got in there. Uh, so this is their chocolate croissant. It's really gorgeous. Uh, let's see, I'll come a little closer. You can see just how like flaky it is. It's really pretty. The question though is, does it taste good? Is it worth waiting in line for two hours for? Because if you're not at the front of the line, you're not gonna get one. They do sell out, uh, so let's see. Mm. It's nice. I like not. I got a good bit of chocolate right away. Uh, you can kind of see that's the situation inside the croissant. It's fluffy. It's a little drier than I think I would have preferred, but I do like that they give you a solid amount of chocolate because there's nothing worse than getting a chocolate croissant and only having like a tiny bit of chocolate in there. But let's see what the second bite looks like. Mm, okay. It's still a good bit of chocolate. I'm happy with the chocolate ratio. It's definitely really pretty. Um, I do just wish that it was like a little more, like it's a little buttery, but it's just, I don't think I'd wait two hours in the cold again for this. Like it's nice, it's beautiful. It tastes good, but I think you could walk into a lot of bakeries and get something very similar, just probably not as pretty. So this is the flan set. Um, I'm sure I butchered that, but it is what it is. It's like, basically I went there just for a croissant and then two hours in, in the freezing cold, I was like, I'm not doing this again. So anything I should try, I'm just gonna get it today. So I went a little overboard. Um, this is like, pull it out here, it's kind of like a tart. It's really beautiful. 
I can't remember what she said was in this. Um, basically, I just asked for her suggestions. I knew I wanted the chocolate uh, croissant. So if you're here, pan au chocolat is how you would ask for it. And then she said this was kind of like their next best thing to try. Uh, looks like maybe there's vanilla in it. You can see it's really like pretty and you know, you get that nice like flaky crust on the outside. It's kind of like a pie crust. So let's see what's actually in it, if I can tell. There's, there's no graceful way to do this, so let's see. Mm. Okay. I think I actually like this better than pan au chocolat. Oops really satisfying the way it's so crusty it reminds me of my grandmother's like pumpkin pie crust the interior is it's like a really light vanilla it's really nice this i would go back and buy again and i'm pretty sure they don't sell out of these immediately so you probably can like skip the giant line in the morning although i did walk by yesterday afternoon and the line was still pretty long so you might just have to wait in line if you want to come here this is where i went really overboard because i was just honestly frozen and it just seemed like a good idea because it was so pretty let me hold it up hopefully it doesn't fall over it's just really beautiful it's a vanilla cake um, it's meant for two to three people. Obviously, I'm here traveling solo, but it was just so beautiful. And I figured I'm never gonna wait in that line again. So I might as well try it. I'm here for the week. I can, you know, I'll have a slice a night. It'll be fine. Um, I probably should have gotten silverware to do this. For the sake of time, let me just try the icing first. Okay. Based on the icing, I can already tell you this was a good decision. This was a splurge. I think this was like 30 euro. Um, so it was a little, after I walked out, I was a little like, oh God, what did I do? I did spend like 50 euros in this bakery. But um, this I'm actually really happy about. Let me see if I can pick it up and we'll try the rest of it. Mm, can I? I'm gonna get a fork. Okay. Apparently I'm not getting a fork. My Airbnb has wine glasses, there's a stove, but there's no silverware. So we're just gonna have to do this the best we can without dropping this. So let me do this maybe. Just pick it up. Oh God, it's a little messy. Okay, here we go. Mm, okay, it's on the inside of it. I'm not sure what's inside of it, but look. It's kind of like something in the crust. Hmm, okay. It's like some sort of nut filling, I think. You'll have to look on the website to see what it actually is. The icing is definitely my favorite part, but you can see there's kind of like a cake layer and then like a tart layer underneath. Oh, it's starting to fall apart. I have to put it down. But um, the icing, like, I would buy this again just for the icing. The vanilla bean icing is just, it's really fresh. It's amazing. Um, let me see if I don't break it. So, yeah, that's such a cool guy. I would say the pan au chocolat was good. But don't wait in line for it unless, like, you really just want the Instagram shot. You can definitely find better croissants without waiting two hours. The cake and the tartine, I would go back for those in a second, especially the cake with this icing. It'd be perfect like in the summer along the Seine with like a nice bottle of Sancerre, like, like it'd be a really good picnic. Like I wanna come back and do that. But uh, yeah, speaking of the sun, I have to go because I'm going to meet this photographer. Uh, we're gonna take a bunch of pictures around the Louvre and the Sun, and I think maybe the Eiffel Tower. I don't know, we'll see where we end up. But uh, yeah, this was Cedric Coulet. Um, So if you're in Paris, it's near the Opera House. It's 
very popular. I think it's probably one of the most Instagrammable bakeries in Paris right now. The line's tough. Don't go if it's cold. Like, you're gonna be miserable. Um, if you do go when it's cold, bring a hot drink with you. That was one thing I really, standing there in line, people around me had hot drinks. They had like, you know, their partners they were cuddling with. Standing there as a solo person, freezing was not a good two hours for me. But um, I've got to say the cake makes up for it. Mm -hmm.